Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Weber, your host, and today I'm at Dickinson Hall with Jane Alfie and Joan Reynolds of the Sunshine Musical Group, and they performed their last program of the season here this afternoon. We have the opportunity to learn about this group that's been with us for 40 years. Jane, I'll start it off with you. Could you tell me how did the group begin? Well, it started 40 years ago with a, a gal from Newcomers whose name was Betty Nesser and she decided with a group of friends that they wanted to do something in the area. Um, they were all musical in their backgrounds and liked to sing and they were committed to volunteerism and so they got together and formed this group and it began singing in the VA hospitals. Sometimes they did something at a nursing home or they did something with the Rotary or sometimes even church organizations and then gradually the group grew and it expanded into some other areas, but they were mostly performing in the North Shore area. And as they performed, I think everyone began to really get a feel for senior citizens and what they needed and the music um, therapy that mm -hmm. is performed really when you sing to the elderly. see our performances there's this eye-to-eye -eye contact with the various residents and it's just so gratifying at the end of the day to see the smiles on their faces and they come up to you afterward and said you made my day and sometimes they um, begin singing along with us and so as, as you begin to uh, really get to know them you get more comfortable mm -hmm. performing and it's just a very uh, uplifting kind of uh, an experience. So. Well, it's so wonderful that the group of women that you all are with have this opportunity to share a passion of yours with others. How long have you been with the group? Uh, this is my 18th year. Okay, and, and what is your musical background? Um, I did perform in high school and was with a choir there, and then in college, I, again, I did some dance um, with the orchestras group at Northwestern University, and learned some choreography there, and then I've been in church choirs as well. And Joan, tell me about uh, your background in the music well, field. Well, <laughs> I've been musical all my life, so I, I don't know where to begin, but I did teach school in Lake Forest okay. at Deer Path for 24 years, taught music, okay. and I <clears throat> love to tell the ladies that it's easier to teach junior high than it is to deal with 15 <laughs> ladies Adults. of my own age. Yeah. <laughs> We had a lot of laughs about that because we like to talk sure, <laughs> we to <do>. each other. <laughs> it's pretty funny. We've all become good friends and uh, you know we go out to lunch and do things together. I love uh, to play the music and I love to arrange it because then I can get them to do just what I want. And I arrange most of the pieces, uh, meaning I, I select the parts that they're going to sing. Okay. And, um, and then I accompany them, and so I can pretty much, you know, I have free reign to do what I want. Yeah. I'm not restricted to a piece of music that someone else did, although sure. we use music by other people too as well. Several of our, like all that jazz, our finale number, uh -huh. I mean, that's a standard stock sure. arrangement. Sure. But um, uh, it's just been really a lot of fun for me. Uh, I've been in the group 22 years. Okay. And the first year was the year I retired from Deer Path in 1992. And one of the gals, uh, mothers of one of my students, who was a member of Sunshine, mm -hmm. said, Joan, you've got to come and join Sunshine. I said, what is it? Mm -hmm. Being a teacher, I didn't have any free time in the days. Sure. And she said, you'll see, you come and hear us and you're gonna join. Well, I did and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And the next fall when we started up again, you're going to be our director, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> surprise. So, yes, surprise, right. and I've been their director for 21 years. And a very good one at that. <laughs> and she plays all kinds of jazz in her Red Rose Band. Tell them about that. Oh, well, I have a jazz band. Oh, you do? Yes, and we perform at Gorton every year. Okay. the Red Rose Ragtime Band. It's, okay. it's a Dixieland type jazz band. Six men and me. Okay. And um, yeah, well, we have a lot of fun with that. And some of the songs that we do with the jazz band, I've 
decided I like to hear the gals sing them. Now, when you put these musical compositions together and changing up the different uh, segments, how do you select what the gals are going to sing? Do you change multiple times a year, or do you set a program for a whole year? We do the same program once we learn it in the fall. Okay. We rehearse it in the fall, and then we start performing in January, February, March, April, part of May. Sometimes we go to the middle of May. We keep a couple, like we may, may keep our opener or our closer, or maybe one or two in the middle, okay. so that we don't have to learn 12 brand new songs and memorize them. Right. They have to be totally memorized, and then Jane, and then she has, uh, we have two other gals mm -hmm. who now, come okay. up with the movements, and trying to sing and move, I think that's very challenging. Yes, and so we can polish it a little bit more sure. by having about half, or almost half, that we've done before, and then okay. we can add to it, and it gives us a little something fresh each time, and it's it's a little more exciting to the gals, and we have some costumes. And yeah, have I'd love to see oh, yeah. um, a little bit of that, this Jane. Is just what we had for our finale, so just to show you that we're not all just black and yeah. <laughs> very conservative. It really um, sparkles, you know, doesn't and it? And we did some of the moves from Chicago. Can you give us a movie? Movie? Oh, oh my! Sample here, just a couple <laughs> quick little. Um, well, we have a a little bit of just. Um, we start out with. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? <laughs> and all that jazz is gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. <laughs> We are 15 now, yeah, and we have, I think, the highest, when I was in it in the last 22 years, I think the, the highest number, I think we were 23. Okay. And then as we got older, uh, many of the husbands retired, mm -hmm. and then what do you do when you retire? You want to travel, sure. or you move to Florida part of the year, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, you know, the attrition rate was pretty high then, sure. at right. that point, once people t got into their 50s. And so many women are working, mm -hmm. I was working part-time for many, many years, and um, I think that that's part of the attrition. Every Wednesday. Except in the summer. Yes, Except from September months. through May, pretty much, yeah. the end so of September. Nine, 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 nine months, months, basically pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Every Wednesday. Right. Yep. Well, um, if people were interested in, in learning more about the Sunshine Group, is there someone, one of you two ladies that they can contact? Um, you can contact me if you want. Okay, I can do right. jalfie42 at sbcglobal.net. Perfect. Or, Joan, you want to give yours? I'm redrosejazz okay. at aol.com. Great. So anyone who might be interested in joining or learning or more. Or forming a group. Or forming, or a, forming new group. a new group. Well, they could always use some of our uh, vocal arrangements if they wanted sure, to. Sure, sure. And I have choreography they could borrow if they want. Yeah. Great. So this certainly is an opportunity for uh, the next generation uh, right. to come in and, yeah. and continue the tradition that Sunshine has had. Yes, we're hoping they will because we're going to year olds. give our <laughs> yes. um, various materials to the Historical Society in Lake Forest. Okay. So that will be there for anybody to peruse and um, hopefully someone will pick it up. <laughs> Great. So tell me why closing why closing well, the doors after somebody years? had to make the decision. Okay. And it was I. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you decided to travel. <laughs> well partly. I would like to. That's yes. It, it's it was just twenty two years of every Wednesday being uh, unable to really go anywhere right. or plan. Plus I'm I'm uh, of an age where I think maybe I just like to stay home and uh, read a little more. Sure. Uh, and I still will always play the piano. I'm mm -hmm. sure I've all and I have my jazz band, mm -hmm. and I do a lot of ragtime stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I can do women's clubs. 
club programs with just piano, right. but uh, directing a group and being responsible it's is a something commitment. I chose yeah. to stop. And there doesn't seem to be anyone else who wants to pick up. Pick up the music director yeah. part. Yeah. Way, no, sure. and plus many of the women, I mean, we've had several new knees and new hips, <laughs> and it's hard to stand up. And sometimes, and the moves, you know, sometimes. It, sure. it's tricky. There are four of us who are going to be 80 this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you look fabulous. Well, yes, it would must be the music. Really. It's you the music, have, right, Jane? It's yeah. wonderful therapy. We all yeah. say that. Music keeps everybody alive. I believe it does. that. I think so. Just like and flowers and plants. You know, yes. It's just, you need something it to is. Be, It is. It is like the some plants. Art, exactly. Something yeah. artistic something in your life. That beauty. It's yeah. what it is. And you look in the faces of some of these people and they're kind of glassed over in the nursing homes and stuff. And you just think, there's a person in there. I have to reach them. And then they'll get yeah. this big smile on their face or if you hold their hand or something. Yes, it just makes fine. it so nice for you. I have to tell you that time we sang at a, uh, a place for Alzheimer's patients mm -hmm. mainly years ago. And I hadn't been in the group that long. And this lovely lady was in a wheelchair and you know, white hair and she was just sitting looking <laughs> very, yeah. you know, uninterested mm -hmm. and almost asleep. And we sang, we did a little sing-along, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling. Oh, one of my was, favorite. Yeah, and it was St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Week, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. St. Uh, Patrick's Day. So all of a sudden she put her head up and she had bl beautiful blue eyes. I remember yes. that. You were there mm -hmm. at Wheelshire, I think it mm -hmm. was. And she sang every word in the song oh, with wow. us. And we were always, I mean, we were just amazed. And they told us later that she never spoke for two ever. years, I think for, they said. Yes. She hadn't spoken. Hadn't spoken wow. a word. Yeah. And she sang the song and, and just perked her up and then she went back down. But they, they were very impressed that music could do mm -hmm. that. And wow. also sometimes the patriotic songs also appeal sure. to them. Yes. Since a lot of them have lived through World War II mm -hmm. and they will stand up. My mother was at one of these homes and she stood up and she said, do your patriotic duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was so embarrassed. Oh. But you know, that was her generation yeah. and they yes. all stood up. Even yeah. if, you know, they were in a walker, wow. they stood up. Yeah. It's just incredible. It is. So many stories to share and, yeah. and thank you so much for doing so and, and I hope that the, uh, the residents of Lake Forest and Lake Love and all who watch the program today will be able to stop in the historical society and see I hope so. all of your yeah, collections. Yeah, look to our scrapbook. Yes, and our scrapbook. And videos. Maybe we'll have the video from the show. Perfect. Well, thank you both so much for meeting with me today thank and you, sharing Eileen. your oh, yes, stories so and, and your experiences. It's really a pleasure and I just love hearing how music has touched so many lives um, through your good work. It has. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. As you know, today I've been visiting with Jane and Joan, who've been with the Sunshine Group here that formed out of the Newcomers Club. You never know what you can do and how you can impact people in this world. So I hope you take the opportunity to visit the Historical Society or stop in here at Dickinson Hall to learn all about the history of this wonderful group. Mm -hmm.